The 115th United States Congress is the current meeting of the legislative branch of the United States federal government, composed of the Senate and the House of Representatives. It meets in Washington, D.C. from January 3, 2017, to January 3, 2019, during the final weeks of Barack Obama's presidency and the first two years of Donald Trump's presidency. Several political scientists described the legislative accomplishments of this Congress as modest, considering that Congress and the presidency were under unified Republican control. According to a contemporary study, House and Senate GOP majorities struggled to legislate, GOP fissures and an undisciplined, unpopular president frequently undermined the Republican agenda. Most notably, clashes within and between the two parties strained old ways of doing business. Major events January 5, 2017, House of Representatives condemned United Nations Security Council Resolution 2334. January 6, 2017, Joint Session counted and certified the electoral votes of the 2016 presidential election. January 11 to 12, 2017, Senate, in an all-night session, took first steps to repeal the Affordable Care Act (ACA). The final vote was 51 to 48 to approve a budget resolution to allow broad swaths of the Affordable Care Act to be repealed through a process known as budget reconciliation. January 20, 2017, inauguration of President Donald Trump. February 7, 2017, Vice President Mike Pence cast the tie-breaking vote to confirm Betsy DeVos as Secretary of Education. This was the first time in United States history that a cabinet confirmation was tied in the Senate and required a tie-breaking vote. February 28, 2017, President's speech to a joint session April 6, 2017, Senate invoked the «nuclear option» to weaken Supreme Court filibusters. Nominee Neil Gorsuch was then confirmed the next day. June 14, 2017, Majority Whip Steve Scalise and several staffers were shot during the 2017 Congressional Baseball shooting. They were practicing for the annual Congressional Baseball game. September 1, 2017, the Parliamentarian of the United States Senate decreed that the Senate had until the end of the month to pass ACA repeal via the reconciliation process, or the option would no longer be viable. October 24 to December 14, 2017, 2017 United States political sexual scandals from the Me Too movement. Allegations that Congressman Reuben Kiwan sexually harassed a campaign staffer led some in congressional leadership to call for his resignation. Kiwan later announced he would not seek another term in office. Senator Al Franken announced he would resign in the coming weeks. After photographs were made public suggesting that he sexually assaulted groped a Los Angeles-based radio personality during a USO tour in Iraq in 2006. He was also accused by multiple female constituents of groping at various Minnesota fair appearances that he attended. Three members of Congress either resigned or announced their impeding resignations, c. changes in membership. Allegations that President Donald Trump previously raped and sexually harassed at least 19 women, one girl, and Miss Teen USA contestants resulted in calls by members of Congress for him to resign. Allegations that Republican Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore previously raped and sexually harassed at least eight women and one girl contributed to his defeat by Democrat Doug Jones in a special Senate election to replace Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Allegations that Representative Blake Farenthold sexually harassed a former staffer resulted in the commencement of an investigation by the House Ethics Committee and his announcement he would not seek re-election in 2018. He subsequently resigned on April 6, 2018. January 20–22, 20 2018, first of the United States federal government shutdowns of 2018 January 30, 2018, 2018 State of the Union Address February 9, 2018, second of the United States federal government shutdowns of 2018 October 6, 2018, Senate confirms Brett Kavanaugh's nomination to the U.S. Supreme Court. November 28, 2018, Senate discharges from committee and calendars S.J. Res. 54, bill that ends U.S. intervention in the Yemeni civil war. Topic: 
Major legislation Enacted May 5, 2017, Consolidated Appropriations Act, 2017, H.R. 244, Pub. L. 115-31 August 2, 2017, Countering America's Adversaries Through Sanctions Act, H.R. 3364, Pub. L. 115-44 December 12, 2017, National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2018, H.R. 2810, Pub. L. 115-91 December 22, 2017, Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017, H.R. 1, Pub. L. 115-97 February 9, 2018, Bipartisan Budget Act of 2018, H.R. 1892, Pub. L. 115-123 March 23, 2018, Consolidated Appropriations Act, 2018 including the Cloud Act, H.R. 1625, Pub. L. 115-141 April 11, 2018, Stop Enabling Sex Traffickers Act, H.R. 1865, Pub. L. 115-164 May 24, 2018, Economic Growth, Regulatory Relief and Consumer Protection Act, S. 2155, Pub. L. 115-174 May 30, 2018, Trickett Wendler, Frank Mongello, Jordan McLean, and Matthew Bellina Wright to Try Act of 2017, S. 204, Pub. L. 115-176 August 13, 2018, National Defense Authorization Act for Fiscal Year 2019, H.R. 5515, Pub. L. 115-232 October 5, 2018, FAA Reauthorization Act of 2018, H.R. 302, Pub. L. 115-254 October 11, 2018, Music Modernization Act, H.R. 1551, Pub. L. 115-264 October 23, 2018, America's Water Infrastructure Act of 2018, S. 3021, Pub. L. 115-270 October 24, 2018, Support for Patients and Communities Act, H.R. 6, Pub. L. 115-271 May 4, 2017, American Health Care Act, H.R. 1628, passed House May 4, 2017, June 8, 2017, Financial Choice Act, H.R. 10, passed House June 8, 2017. Party summary Resignations and new members are discussed in the Changes in Membership. Section below. Topic Senate. Topic House of Representatives. Topic Leadership. Section contents: Senate, majority, R, minority, D, House, majority, R, minority, D. Topic: Senate. President: Joe Biden, D, until January 20th, 2017. Mike Pence, R, from January 20th, 2017. President pro tempore: Orrin Hatch, R. President pro tempore emeritus Patrick Leahy D Topic Majority Republican leadership Majority leader Mitch McConnell Majority whip John Cornyn Conference chairman John Thune Conference vice chair Roy Blunt Campaign committee chair Cory Gardner Policy committee chairman John Barrasso Topic: Minority Democratic leadership. 
Minority Leader, Chuck Schumer Minority Whip, Dick Durbin Assistant Minority Leader, Patty Murray Chief Deputy Whip, Jeff Merkley Caucus Chair, Chuck Schumer Policy Committee Chair, Debbie Stabenow Caucus Vice Chairs, Mark Warner and Elizabeth Warren Caucus Secretary, Tammy Baldwin Campaign Committee Chair, Chris Van Hollen Policy Committee Vice Chair, Joe Manchin Steering Committee Chair, Amy Klobuchar Outreach Chair, Bernie Sanders House of Representatives Speaker, Paul Ryan R. Majority Republican leadership Majority Leader, Kevin McCarthy Majority Whip, Steve Scalise Conference Chair, Kathy McMorris-Rogers Conference Vice Chair, Doug Collins Conference Secretary, Jason T. Smith Campaign Committee Chairman, Steve Stivers Policy Committee Chairman, Luke Messer Minority Democratic leadership Minority Leader, Nancy Pelosi Minority Whip, Steny Hoyer Assistant Minority Leader, Jim Clyburn Caucus Chairman, Joseph Crowley Caucus Vice Chairwoman, Linda Sanchez Campaign Committee Chairman, Ben Ray Lujan Steering and Policy Committee Co-Chairs, Rosa DeLauro and Eric Swalwell Policy and Communications Chairman, Sherry Bustos, David Cicilline, and Hakeem Jeffries Demographics <laughs> <laughs> Note, demographics as of the beginning of the Congress in January 3, 2017 The 115th Congress is, in aggregate, the eldest in recent history. The average age of the members in the House of Representatives is 57.8 years, while the average age of the members in the Senate is 61.8 years. The most common occupation of senators prior to election was law, followed by public service, politics, then business. In the House of Representatives, business is the dominant prior occupation, followed by public service, politics, and finally law. Currently 94.1% of House members and 100% of Senators have a bachelor's degree or higher, a historically high level of education for a United States Congress. In addition, 167 members of the House and 55 members of the Senate have a law degree. Only 18 members of Congress have no college education. The extent of racial diversity in the 115th Congress is 52 African American members, 45 Hispanic or Latino members, 18 members of Asian, South Asian, or Pacific Islander ancestry, two members of Native American ancestry. The remaining 418 members of Congress are white. Women comprise 20.1% of the membership in the 115th Congress, which has 109 women and 326 men. This represents an increase of 21 women from the 114th Congress. Currently, there are seven openly LGBT members serving in Congress. Tammy Baldwin, Jared Polis, Sean Patrick Maloney, Mark Takano, David Cicilline, and Mark Pocan are openly gay, while Kirsten Cinema is openly bisexual. The majority of the 115th Congress is religiously affiliated with 90.7% Christian adherents. Approximately half of the Christians are Protestant. Other religious faiths of Congress members include Jewish, Buddhist, Muslim, and Hindu. Topic Members Topic Senate The numbers refer to their Senate classes. All of the Class III seats were contested in the November 2016 elections. Class I terms end with this Congress, requiring re election in 2018, Class II began in the last Congress, requiring re election in 2020, and Class III began in this Congress, requiring re election in 2022. <laughs> House of Representatives 
All 435 seats were filled by the regular elections on November 8, 2016, or subsequent special elections thereafter. <laughs> Changes in membership <laughs> Senate House of Representatives Committees Section contents, Senate, House, Joint Listed alphabetically by chamber, including chairman and ranking member Senate House of Representatives Joint Employees and Legislative Agency Directors Senate Chaplain, Barry C. Black Parliamentarian, Elizabeth McDonough Secretary, Julie E. Adams Sergeant-at-Arms, Frank J. Larkin Secretary for the Majority, Laura Dove Secretary for the Minority, Gary B. Myrick House of Representatives Chaplain, Patrick J. Conroy Chief Administrative Officer, Phil Kiko Clerk, Karen L. Haas Historian, Matthew Wisniewski Parliamentarian, Thomas J. Wickham, Jr. Sergeant-at-Arms, Paul D. Irving Legislative branch agency directors Architect of the Capitol, Stephen T. Ayers Controller General of the United States, Eugene Louis Dodaro Director of the Congressional Budget Office, Keith Hall Librarian of Congress, Carla Diane Hayden Public Printer of the United States, Jim Bradley See also United States elections, 2016 elections leading to this Congress United States presidential election, 2016 United States Senate elections, 2016 United States House of Representatives elections, 2016 United States elections, 2018 elections during this Congress, leading to the next Congress United States Senate elections, 2018 United States House of Representatives elections, 2018 List of freshman class members of the 115th United States Congress List of United States Representatives in the 115th Congress by seniority List of United States Senators in the 115th Congress by seniority Notes <laughs>